See what you really want to be looking at as well is the jitter on the line because if you've got high jitter you're going to have all sorts of problems. And another common mistake people make is broadcasting at far too high a bit rate. Probably I mean probably Switch are very very upload. vocal about not streaming above 2.5. Yeah, in fact, might, Twitch would much prefer terrible. you didn't go above 2.5 because obviously it's more bandwidth at that end. But they're, they're not, you know, they don't say that for a reason. Um, at anything over 2.5, according to their statistics, people really struggle to see. You, uh, you know, anything around the 3.5 mark, apparently you're cutting out nearly 90% of the people that use Twitch. Yeah, I try to only stream at 1280 by 720 and then using 2000 bit rate. 2000 KB. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you might be trying to stream at like some crazy resolution, they saw as well. Your internet speed is 0.5 to 1.5. Ah, well, I can almost ah. guarantee, unless you're, uh, yeah, it's quite like, I mean, don't get me wrong, doesn't it? It's quite possible to stream at like one meg, but. You've got to make sure you're streaming at a resolution that, you know, you're not going to be streaming 1080p at 1 meg. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to and be honest, almost, Twitch, you just yeah. stick at 720p unless you, you're, you're partnered and you can trans... I mean, if I was partnered, I would stream at 1080p without, you know, a second's thought. Um, you know, I've got the upload right. speed for it. I've got the computer to do it. It's just that, obviously, if I did it without the transcode option, which only partners get... Um, well, although, according to Captain and several other people... I think we had it confirmed tonight that we actually managed to get a transcode on the channel, didn't we? Yep. Well, you still have it right now. Really? Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of good to got... know, actually. Yeah. I have no idea, mate. I try not to worry myself too much about that. <laughs> I'm sure it could start getting really uh, sort of preying on your mind. <laughs> How many did I have yesterday? How many I've got today? How many will I have tomorrow? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> No, I just that uh, you had over a hundred. Yeah, a hundred and five. I saw at one point today. Wow, that's amazing, man. That's awesome. That's cool yeah. stuff. I hope that that's a sign. That you've ever uh, had? Um, again, I don't always check it, Ben. But I mean, I've got to assume so. Yeah, like way more than normal. Mm. Oh yeah, we normally. I think have hopefully it's a sign that the game's maybe? got a good, good sort of following and people are interested in it. Yeah, it deserves some recognition. There's no doubt about it. Even in its current state. You're on dial up. I don't believe you, Unreal. <laughs> Is there a streaming setup guide you followed, Grub? Actually, Unreal, you know what, mate? There isn't. I um, I went in blind with XSplit um, and fiddled about with it and suddenly found out it was actually really easy to do. So um, I took some advice from another couple of streamers and then very thankfully found out about OBS and promptly struggled with XSplit for a little bit and ditched it in the end. In fact I ditched XSplit when GTA oh. Online came out. Yeah. I was having loads of sound sync issues with XSplit. I actually know of a pretty good guide by uh, a streamer. He did the... You know what Binding of Isaac is, right? Who, hey, mate? The Binding of Isaac. Do you know what that game is? Oh, the Binding of Isaac. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, you know Crumps too. He does the tournaments for that. Oh, uh, no, I don't, but yeah, go on. Um, well, he has a, a video on YouTube um, about how to set up OBS, and he talks about bit rates and your um, what your internet speeds are and things, and that's right. what helped me actually get started. Cool. Um, but yeah, Crumps 2 is the channel if you're interested in looking for the video. It, it helped me a lot. There you go. There's a bit of advice for you. I'm sure there's loads of um, walkthrough. I mean, Twitch themselves have got an excellent walkthrough for OBS, yeah. how to set it up. Their guide is good. Yeah. Quite a bit of thought. Well, I think they actually worked in sort of partnership with Rich, didn't they? The developer on OBS to set that up. Or so I heard. Yeah. So. You know, they really do go through all the settings, but they don't go stupidly overboard. You know, do this, mm -hmm. do this, do this, and hopefully you've got yeah. a stream up, and then you can sort of play about with it and play about with your, you know, your bit rates and what have you. Mm -hmm. You stream with your PS4 and you love it. It maxes out to the highest quality possible. It's so HD. <laughs> you troll. <laughs> uh.
funny. Yeah, I watched a few PS4 streams. It's a long way to go on that, hasn't it, to be honest? Yeah. I... Part of me wishes Twitch would, would, wouldn't would have done the whole console integration streaming. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I can see why they're pushing it. But, like, you don't want to hear some, like, 12-year-old kid, you know? <laughs> there, not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just... It's really hard to like, listen to. Yeah, yeah. I suppose, in a way, it's kind of nice for... It almost... I mean, what happened with the, the, the camera wasn't that we ended up with people sort of doing almost like little mini talk shows. Um, yeah. And it's sort of... I don't think Twitch also any kind of foresaw that. They just expected it to all be... What was, what's the thing on the PS4 where you can use the camera uh, and the little room. robot? That's it, Playroom. Oh, yeah. Um, I've heard bad things that happened about that. They did really <laughs> bad things, mate. Some really naughty yes. stuff. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it, yeah. technically, it's not gaming content, and Twitch are quite, you know, the whole point in them having Twitch set mm -hmm. up as a separate branch from Justin was that it was dedicated purely to gaming, wasn't it? Yeah. But I mean, I, there's certain exceptions, I guess, because Lethal Frag, you know, he's the big streamer. I stopped watching him recently because, I don't know, he. He's different now, but, um, you know, he had that cooking show on Twitch that, you know, it was only one Saturday, like, a week or something, but the rest of his content was gaming, I mean. Yeah. And they allowed that, but, I mean, that's not like doing a talk Is he show partnered, though? Oh, Lethal Frag is partnered. He's, like, one of yeah. the top streamers. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I think, you know, the top boys and girls get a little bit of uh, leeway with what they yeah. do, don't they? Which, yeah. which is fair and right. I mean, you know, they've earned mm -hmm. that entitlement. I've got no issues with it. I mean, why not? Yeah. I think it's great that people... I mean, there's... Uh, is it Severus who does um, Minecraft? Hmm. And he's a, he's a young lad, and, you know, he... What, what is he? He's a... Uh, I can't remember, but he's he's got some amazing degree in I don't know rocket science, whatever it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> but he decided to uh, he was he, he decided to give it a shot. He quit his actual job that he was sort of I think working on as he worked his way through uni. Um, he's actually American, whatever the equivalent is over there. And uh, he decided to you know take a year out. His boss okayed it. Um, just to see if he could make a bash at, at streaming and making a living. And he, he put so much thought into it, I think he even moved location to, I, I'm guessing it was Canada, or he moved from Canada to somewhere else because he could get a much better internet connection and much lower housing rent where he moved. Yeah. So he really put a lot of thought into it, you know, actually physically moved where he lived in order to give it a shot and cut down his overheads as much as he could. And uh, I think it's worked out okay for him, from what, I've, what I can understand. He always regularly gets like 2,000 plus viewers, so... Uh, Pretty good. I'm sure he, sure he must be making some money out of it, and whether or not it's uh, the sort of money you can get from having a, an actual job, I have no idea. Yeah, I think this barbed wire is actually, like, just the way it is, is working really good. Because it, it gets them initially, and then the, it just puts them inside the uh, double layer of... Uh, tree tips things okay do you need any anything to make more um i have 77 left but we need um what is it small pipes well i'll bring from, yeah iron yeah i'll bring a load of junk over i'm just sitting here tonight there's nothing i can really do because i'm in base camp yeah. one so yeah You'll be in sat fact, there all night, and you'll be. still forget something. Well, I was about <laughs> to say, does anybody need anything? I've, I'm bringing some scrap metal and some concrete and some bob fence wires. Does anyone need ammo for anything? Um. Well, actually, I need ammo. <laughs> no, I'm I'm set pretty much. The only thing we could use is more gas, but I've I have like 20. I was gonna I've cut got down more 60 trees. here. Oh, nice. I'll bring 10. Yeah, I use I converted all the barrels to uh, prevent Ben from being tempted. 
I'm actually thinking of calling it a night soon, guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come and bring this stuff over in the morning, and um, yeah, because I want to, I'm gonna get up early tomorrow. I've got a few things I need to do. I'm gonna hit the gym, and then I'll be streaming again. So I've got the day nice. off, and I don't think Elder Scrolls Online is gonna keep me entertained for long tomorrow morning. I actually have math class tomorrow, so I have to do that. But what time is it there, Captain? Yeah, uh, it's 4 p.m. now. I actually found out today that I'm going to be off work for the year, actually. Wow. I don't actually have to work till next January. Wow, Quite bloody cool. hell, dude. Yeah. Not bad, is it? Well, not as long as you're all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, be all, you'll be good enough to play your computer, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Don't hit Jim Grumble. Hey. What's that for real? Some people are just up, right up strange, aren't they, Grant? I'm right I'm tempted to sort of make a dash in the middle of the night. I feel like living on the edge of it. Well, Grim, do it. You can do it. Kill the stag. Has anyone, I mean, has has anyone here actually run out into, into Oh, yeah, the... I need water. Can you make some glass jars in that, Grim? Oh, now you tell me. Yeah, I need yeah. water. Uh, anybody, anybody, water? It's water in here. Oh, do I need to? Oh, you invite me into your bedroom, are you, uh, chicken? Yeah, you can come cuddle with me. <laughs> He's <laughs> not happy to see you. Me. That's TNT <laughs> in his pocket. This is brilliant. Uh, where are they? Where's the... In the desk. In the desk, ooh. Okay. <laughs> what? Unreal? <laughs> You've lost me, mate. I've, I've lost chat. I want to know how Twitch can make more money, make people like the League streamers have to pay to showcase their tournaments. Oh, oh wow, no, that, that's not a good idea, Mini Mario. No, 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 no. Wait, yeah, what? with that water bottle in your hand, it a little is. <laughs> Alright, um... Oh, for, uh, depending anything. on who you... Oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. No, I was just looking at chat, I was just thinking, I was just going to say, I mean, people have got to bear in mind that even these guys that have got partnerships and are getting like 4 99 per month subscriptions, they don't see all of that 4 99 Depending on who yeah. you talk to, they get anywhere between 40 and 60% of it, so I don't know whether there's different rates depending on how popular you are, but you certainly don't I've get all 4 99 Yeah, I've heard it's half. Yeah. Um... I'd the whole league to you, thing. I think league is actually Cheers, mate. league. J just because there's so many, you know, people watching and playing, uh, that's ad revenue. Because every stream has ads, you know. Yeah, but who doesn't have ad blocker? I don't understand people that don't have ad blocker. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I know that, but um, Why most can't people don't even know how to work a computer properly. You know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the average computer user isn't very, you know. Well, I actually, I I don't know much about computers at all, Graham. I'll tell you that. I have to ask him about everything. But I mean, you're like, that, I mean, like, you mate. general mm. general computer use. I mean, like you know about ad blocker and stuff, but oh yeah, I, I, I'd say tons I'm of people most. who don't, you know. And that's ad revenue. I mean, I turn off ad blocker for. Certain like, streams. I do use Adblocker, but I turn it off for streams that, uh... Like, yeah, that you want to support. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just can't stand ads. Even if I really like the guy and I was paying a subscription, I just wouldn't... The problem with ads is there's a bit of a there's you know there's a bit of a stigma attached to them, isn't there, with the internet? Because this advertising on the internet back in the day, they used so many dirty tricks, didn't they? And pop-ups and windows yeah. you couldn't possibly close. And, and you, we're talking about you know like reputable companies here, and people just you know it, it, that then kind of then branched off into you know trojans and all sorts and. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, if I even see an advert pop up, you know, it's like panic mode. It's like, what the hell yeah. is that? That, sh that shouldn't be getting through. Uh, but like you said, something like Twitch, where I know, you know, I, to the best of my knowledge, I will give them the benefit of the doubt and, and assume it's a secure site. I'll, I'll happily have ad